one thing that the wind and the rain can never take away from the Cape is its beauty. And this is the long drop down towards Camps Bay now. And this elite group of uh, only six, we did have seven, so we've lost somebody. It's Tiffany Keep, I think, is the one who's dropped off this. You might be right. Yeah, I, I think she her. was taking a bit of strain going up the right, Sacred so Climb. She's not She did a lot of work early on, and, yeah. and she's paid the price. Yeah. yeah. She's had a busy year, and it's taken a bit of strain. So, Sam Saunders, a former, she started off out her sporting life as a triathlete. Oh, there's Tiff Keep there. Oh, yeah, she is in there, yeah. Yeah. Well, she, I didn't see her when you said it, and yeah. there she is. Um, she shouldn't be missed. Tall, blue helmet. Catherine Colena. I think this is the chase group. I do. Yeah, it is. They've this dropped is Catherine off. Catherine yeah, she is. So she is in the chase group. Yep. Yeah. We, yeah, we've gone back to this group. They're still trying to get on yeah. terms. I'm not sure they can now. That's a select low on the Women. front. And... Still got six women here. All right, it's uh, Joe van der Winkel, Carlo Orbal, so Sam Sanders, Cherise Willett, Eleanor Barker, and Candace Lill as they swing yes. through these beautiful Atlantic seaboard suburbs. Clifton heading towards Hart Bay. It's getting down to the business end here. And a reminder, these women, a whole women's peloton, the elite women's peloton of uh, 70, 69 riders, started at Fishhook. So they raced 78 kilometers today for those elite races. Yes, there are thousands of women who are racing further back in the field all the way through the day. But if you want to win the race and have your uh, name on that beautiful trophy, then yeah. you uh, have to race in this race. 22% of the entire field is made up of women riders. It's getting more and more, which is uh, fantastic. Just over seven kilometers from the finish here. And I think this will be the group because the pressure is pretty high. The pace is on. Getting under the shadow of Lion's Head, the mountain there, ravaged by fire not many weeks ago. It looks okay from this angle, though. So hot day it is. The camps bay, beg your pardon, they come through. That's what it looks like from way above as our helicopter tracks back to uh, find the men's race and the leaders in that group, which is a very, very competitive one. It's Nordhook Beach, spectacular part of uh, South Africa. And to the left is Chapman's Peak. That's uh, the beautiful climb. Coming off Little Chappies, heading on to Big Chappies. We're back now in Camps Bay here. As we race along the beachfront, this is a flat stretch of road, little climb out of Camps Bay. And in the old days, into the middle of the 90s, the race used to end there mm. at Maiden's Cove, just at the top of a small climb. But now we go the whole lap of the peninsula and finish down at the stadium. So Sam Saunders hasn't a pedigree as a, a road racer, but she was chosen for the national team a few years ago to go to the World Championships. As Cherise Willet comes to the front. She's the only free former winner in this group. A three-time winner. And Ellie Barker still. Woods uh, Nordhook. Yeah. And the, the women the now. They're well clear of that area now. Clifton, I think. And uh, yeah. Sam Sanders. Through Bantry Bay. Down to the coastline again. And then lining up for the finish. They're about five kilometers from the finish. Maybe five and a half. All the others will know it very well. Eleanor Barker will have done us some, some riding here, but uh, on race day it's a little different. Here we go. Yeah, we go. So Cherise at the back here. Then Carl Orbalsa. Candace Lill is on the front. Well, if anyone is going to win the trophy, uh, win the title based on the effort she's put in today on the front, it's. Uh, Candace Lill. She looks long over her shoulder to see uh, if anyone else is going to take up some work. No one is. And we're getting down to that stage where we're going to get uh, a little bit of the cat and mouse going. And who you yeah. feel Cherise sitting at the back here? Gonna yes. Jump. And the attacks are done now. It's a question yep. of uh, planning your, your move to win the race. We're on the descent inside four kilometers from the finish. Looks like we're coming into Bantry Bay. 
through the S's. This was the section of the course which we, it was impossible to use over the years until we completely got the roads closed for the event. So Eleanor Barker on the front and Joanna van der Winkel on the track. What she can do in a sprint. She's a very fast rider on the track. Now this is the chase group. I think they're way off the pace now. Catherine Collane leading it with uh, Lucy James and uh, yeah. Amy and Beth McDougall. Well, they'll keep going because you never know what happens up front. The 12 apostles in the background as they continue their tour of the peninsula. Sea point uh, approaching and the women's elite race of the Cape Town Cycle Tour 2019 is reaching its climax here with Samantha Sanders riding for Team Dorma Carver on the front, Joanna van der Winkel from Cycle Nation Centre and Cherise Willett from Investix Ongo Specialized, Candice Hill from Team Summit and Eleanor Barker from Great Britain. Now, now Seapoint Swimming Pool is behind them or just alongside them and now the games start. Candice Hill looks over her shoulder. She's done so much of the work today for Team Summit with uh, Joe van der Winkel on her wheel, Sam Sanders behind Candice, mm. at least Joe, and then Sharice and Eleanor, Sharice Willett and Eleanor Barker right at the back of this group. Carl Orvals are in the mix as well, the national champion from a year ago. She can kick. She's got the strength to get away from this group. But it's about timing and when they launch. Yes, I just wonder if the African women just know the They're strength. They're all together here. There's been a, has there has been a regrouping. Now, has that brought Anne Schoeman back into the action as well? I haven't seen her. This is uh, Candice Lull on the front. Nobody helping her now as they're thinking more of the finish. Colleen there, I think, is... I just thought I might have seen Henriette Skuman in there, but Lucy James is in there. Uh, Amy Beth McDougall, been rewarded for her hard work today. She's back in this group as well. Okay, they're closing in now. Very, very close. Well, unfortunately, Candice Lull is being uh, forced to set the pace yeah. here and she's heading towards the finish and they're going to jump her. That's a little bit of an experience, I think. At this stage of the race, no one else is coming up from behind. They really need to, she really needs to drop down to place herself better for the sprint. Colleen on the left-hand side now coming up. As I said, she's in good form. Eleanor Barker's there. It's Candice Lull. Will. And for the woman that doesn't know the way home, she's got a very good position in second place here at the moment. She may have just gone through to the front. She won't want to do that just now. She knows she's getting close. It's not far. Probably, what, six, seven hundred meters, yeah, maybe. Just, just gone past the one kilometer out mark. Lucy James at the back of this uh, field. Is that Henriette in the pink? But Lucy James f sitting on the back here. Three, four, one. Kelsey von Skur is the other youngster. Now, this is a young lady we've got to look out for. She's 17. She rides for the same team as Henriette. The little girl, I did say little girl, she is small. I've got her. Uh, yep. Uh, in the, the pink. Back. And uh, she's keeping herself very well hidden there. James going. Moving Lucy up. James taking from advantage. New Zealand. Repositioning herself, looking for the wheel to lead her to the line, perhaps. The lady in pink. Carla Orball says in there as well. They're coming down to the last 500 meters or so in the women's race. Fantastic. This is exactly why we have uh, a start 78 kilometers from the finish for the women on their own to have a chance to express themselves. Super finish for the women. We just passed Beach Road now. They'll see the finishing line as they come off this straight. It's just around that bend is where they're aiming for. So Candice Lill is still on the front here. Joe Funderbuckle, Eleanor Barker, Amy McDougall, Sam Sanders, Charisse Willett there. She's a real danger here. Carla Orwell, so Lucy James in the pink here, keeping herself to the fore. You feel she's trying to find a road to the front here, Lucy James. Amy McDougall's being tailed off a little bit here. Carla Orwell is in there as well. No one's going just yet. Lil is looking all the time. She's on the front there. Now she's going to go out of the saddle. Eleanor Barker's going as well on the right-hand side for Great Britain. A really big dig now. The sprint is on in the women's race for the finish. Well, Tiffany uh, Keep is going. She's all powerful. The 19-year-old. Here comes Carla Hobolsa. Tiffany Keep, Carla Hobolsa. Charisse Willett. Who's it going to be? Charisse Willett has won it. Her fourth win. And she's back with a bang. No question about it.